In a survey of 100 customers at the supermarket checkout, it was found that 58 bought bread and 47 bought milk, and 25 customers bought neither bread or milk. So this is called a Venn diagram. So 100 customers bought, sorry, there were 100 customers, so you write 100 here, which represents the total number of customers. And there were 25 who bought neither bread nor milk. So this circle represents the people who bought milk, and this circle represents the people who bought, sorry, this is for bread and this is for milk. And this area, which is outside these two, both the circle represents the people who bought neither bread nor milk. So I can write 25 here, just like that. So now you have to use a bit of common sense. So this area that is between, which is the inter, this is called the intersection of both these circles, represents what type of people? Would represent the people who bought milk and bread. So there were a number of people who bought milk, number of people who bought, sorry, bread, so num number of people who bought milk, number of people who bought milk, and the number of people who bought milk and bread, which is something not given yet. So you have to do some calculation. So if there were 100 customers and there were 25 people who bought neither bread nor milk, there were 75 people who bought, so let me write B plus B plus M, would be how much? 100 minus 25, which is 75. Okay, that's very clear. But if we add 58 and 58 and 47, what would you get? This, what they're saying is this is for people who bought milk, and this is for people who bought, sorry, I keep saying the other way around. This is the people who bought bread, and this is the people who bought milk. So if you add it, add them, so this is 100 and 105 is B plus M. B plus M is 105. But what did we say? B plus M should be 75. So there is an anomaly here. Yeah? So now this means 105 minus 75 is how much? Is 30. So there were 30 people who bought milk and bread. So 30 should come here. Yeah. So the total of the bread represents 58. So if you write 20 here, yeah, I should write, sorry, if you write 30 here, yeah, I should write 28. Can you understand 28 plus 30 is 58. And the people who bought milk is 47. And in this circle of milk, I've written 30. So I have to write 17 here. Yeah. So 30 plus 17 is 47, which is the people who bought milk. That makes sense. And 28 plus 30 is the number of people who brought bread. That also makes sense. Okay. Now we need to answer this question. A customer is chosen at random. What's the probability that the customer bought milk and bread? So this is a peep. This represents, this area represents the people who bought milk and bread, which is 30 out of 100. 30 out of 100, so writing that as a decimal is 0 0.3. And if you want to write this as a percent, it is 30%. So what can we say? The probability that a person buys milk and bread is 30% or 0 0.3 or 30 out of 100. Does all mean one and the same thing. Bought milk, but not bread. Bought milk, but not bread. That means... We are talking about those people. They bought only milk. Okay, so that 17 out of 100. 17 out of 100, which is 0 0.17 or 17%. Okay. Did not buy bread. Okay. So this is the people who bought 58. This is the people who bought milk. Sorry, the bread. The people who brought uh, 58 stands for the people who bought. This 28 stands for the people who bought only bread. 30 are the people who bought milk and bread, and 17 are the people who bought only milk. So the question is, did not buy bread. That means the people who bought milk, and these 25 who bought something else other than uh, bread and milk. 
So the total of 17 plus 25 is 42. So that is 0 0.42, the probability is 0 0.42 or 42%. So this 25% of the people, you don't know what they bought nothing or bought anything other than uh, bread and milk.